Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and I am your cruise director on the Magical Mystery Tour. Today we are doing a whole face of moi, of elf. Um, whole face? Yeah, I think so. I think the only thing I don't have is setting spray, uh, possibly. But before we get to that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell to be alerted to any new uploads. And if you like this video at the end, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, let's get to it. It's all here. Okay, so I'm going in first with the Power Grip Primer, which was a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip. I'm not the biggest fan of this I will admit because personally I like an illuminating primer and actually what an idiot um I have got an illuminating primer I've got the elf halo glow so once this sets down a bit we will go in with a second primer this You've got to give it a little bit of time to get grippy. Um, I haven't used the Hydra Grip again. It's not the kind of product that I tend to use. But from all accounts, this is as good. People talk that it is as, as good. I can feel my hand getting sticky. Look at that. This is designed to literally make every product that goes over the top grip. So I have here, um, look, ELF stands for Eyes, Lips, Face, um, if you weren't aware of that. I started buying ELF, gosh, when it first came out. Uh, so what was that, 20 plus years ago, um, when it first came out, um, in Kmart and the products were like two dollars each uh, you paid I don't think you were paying over four then everything was super cheap it certainly come a long way I've got the halo glow liquid filter I have two shades here uh, three and four they are quite a difference when you see them at the moment it is winter so I am going in with three this quite clearly is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury. The difference with this, a lot of people have used this and not Charlotte Tilbury. A lot of people have used Charlotte Tilbury and not this. So what is the difference? This has, I would say, um, oops, the Halo Glow, not the same sort of shades. Um, it does have a bit more coverage. I don't think it's probably quite as metallic as Charlotte Tilbury. Um, but it's, um, it's a great product, as are most of the ones that have come out, most illuminating primers that are out as a dupe. You can blow smoke at your backside all you want saying Charlotte is the best with it um, and for a long time she was but the truth truth be told with what is on the market now there are um, products that are just as good and you cannot tell the difference you can't tell me any different to that will not believe you if I told you I had it on people would not question it. So you can see we've got a bit of glow happening now and quite frankly you could go out if you're not wanting to wear any makeup go out with this and be fine or you could just set that down with powder but we are using the um, one of our best known products the Camo CC Cream. This is a really really old uh, foundation that I have. CC cream, it is colour correcting so it's meant to even out any redness that you may have as opposed to a BB cream which is a beauty balm. Um, neither are foundations. This actually acts like a foundation because it is that full coverage. Um, 
so this is the wrong shade for me i know holding it up to my face right now it looks like it is it's actually not i have mixed it with a white pigment to get a custom shade this is very full coverage so and it's a thicker product so you can go in with either a brush or a sponge you may end up with bristle marks if you are using a sponge so I like to go in in this instance I like to go in with a brush and then tap it all out with a beauty blender as you can see she's full coverage I haven't used this for such a long time I don't know why probably actually no I probably do know why a lot of people like this think that it's amazing it's a dupe for the it cosmetics um, I think it feels very heavy on my skin and I prefer products that don't feel that heavy to be quite honest um, I also found be interesting to see how this wears because I found that this used to end up looking quite cakey on me um, so but at the time that I was doing that my skin was quite dry so it'll be interesting now that my skin is balanced to see how this wears Elf's got a lot of dupes, let's be honest, because now I'm going to go in with the uh, 16 hour camo concealer. Um, and this is dupe for sharp, 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 sheep tape, <laughs> tart sheep tape. Now I've got two different shades. One is a lot lighter to bright and one is standard. And I think... I don't think I want to brighten now I just think I want to give a little bit of coverage under the eye and again I'm not going in too hard about it we don't need to brighten under our eye all the time because I am a woman in my 50s I don't need to have that ghostly white cast what I do need is to just look even on my face So just tapping that out this is very thick um, it's a great concealer to be honest but again if you prefer to brighten really brighten under your eyes absolutely you can I am going through a stage where I just want to even out my tone I don't want it super bright if I do I'm going to use a brightening powder as opposed to a super bright concealer under my eyes and that's again pretty full coverage okay so going in with a setting powder now I have it's old again um, which just goes to how much I do or don't um, use these I have their old halo glow powder um, it's now I think been replaced by the high definition powder it's probably the same thing looking at it um, certainly the same componentry and it looks the same so just going under the eyes in the t-zone to start with a smaller slightly denser brush and then I will use a fluffier brush or the rest of my face don't forget when you're doing going into set let it all dry for a few minutes first before going into set your concealer in particular if you don't want it to look cakey and also if you've had this in the past don't be afraid to pull it out and have a look you'd be amazed at what we find at the back of our drawers is it expired going by what it says on the chart absolutely I've had this probably four years however it's barely been used 
it's been kept with the lid sealed it doesn't smell it hasn't changed texture so choice is yours now going in i'm going to i don't have a setting spray so i'm just going to go in and set down my face with the makeup revolution um fan it down and i'll be right back. okay so i don't know if you can see i have just done one brow with their brow lift which again it's a dupe it's bound to be the abh uh brow gel so it's funny i am left-handed I'm doing this with my right hand and most things are right left-handed and everything else I've learnt to do right-handed but this how awkward then a little bit ambidextrous just because I've forced myself to be so I don't think I want them aggressively lifted today so just tidying that down. I'm not going to put brow pencil in just yet. That can wait. Um, and probably until after I do my eyes, I'll let that set down a little bit. Bronzer. They have two types. So there's a few different. I have here the putty bronzer and the luminous bronzer. So this is the putty bronzer. This is the luminous. I'm not going to use the Luminous because, quite frankly, it is not the better of the two products. Just going in with a brush, dumping it in there, just pressing it around. And this is quite a good bronzer. Is it a dupe for anything? It's a dupe for so many. There are so many cream bronzers out on the market. And I think we can be quite freely free with our use of the word dupe. This is just a good little product. Do I wish it was in a bigger pot? Yep. But it's manageable. It's not too warm, which is really good, but it does warm the face up. It's not too orange. I like that it's not luminous as well. I definitely prefer it over the Luminous Bronzer. And underneath, let's give a little bit of definition. So this is one of those products with it being quite neutral, this particular shade, in that it's almost like a contour bronzer in one. Going in with a nose brush now. I really like to contour right on my bump to help hide it. And then on this side, I only need to do half, in case you're wondering why, my nose has collapsed in that part there. So she's already divoted in. Okay, so for blush, we have a few different they have the luminous blush this is a gorgeous gorgeous shade um luminous putty blush the standard putty blush and then the new camo blush i love these i love these um the dusty rose this one is dusty rose is that what it's called i'm not sure what this particular shade is actually because i think this is dusty rose um, i'm going to use this one because i haven't used it this one is new to me so if i can open it i could stick straight onto the face it has a doe foot big fat doe foot first up though i'm putting it on my hand just because i don't know how it works Yeah, that's pretty. This is another dupe in that the shade matches on these are meant to be almost identical to Rare Beauty. Um, I've got a couple of Rare Beauty shades in there. I don't know if this is one of them. But 
we're not going to compare it to them, or we're comparing it to itself. She is pigmented. It's gorgeous. If you're worried about the pigment, just go gently over, tapping really gently with your sponge. And that will blend it in. Oh, that's mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah, that is beautiful. Um, I'm gonna get more, I think. Highlighter. I don't have any of the new Halo Glows. Let's just see because I'm not even sure if this is still available. No, this is an old product that has been discontinued. I am so, so sorry. It is a powder highlighter. And I think it was silly for them to discontinue it. Because she's actually not a bad highlighter. And that just marries that blush in at the top of the blush there beautifully. I'm not getting rid of this one. Elf, you were mad too. This is what happens if brands get successful um, with a couple of products that are dupes of others is that they just lean into that and forget about products that they have that are quite good. See, look, that's a really nice subtle highlighter. We have the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I have the shade Dark Brown. Um, do I like this pencil? Yes, I do. I don't need too much at the moment. My eyes, brows are holding their tint. So literally just filling in. A little bit of depth with this. This is a really waxy pencil. Um, just as an FYI, I don't normally like waxy pencils, um, but I do like this one. And I have bought this in multiple shades over the years for whatever my hair is doing. Going in now with the Eyeshadow Lock Eye Lid Primer. Um, I think that's what it's called. This, I wish came in a different applicator. I actually really like, we know that I am married to my MAC um, paint pot, but this one, I actually really like as well. And I would probably use it a lot more, except for the fact that it feels like you use it twice and it's empty. It's really hard to get stuff out because there is a big hole in the center with a lot of wands like this. You've got to wriggle your brush around to pick up the product because as it's filled and it's being pulled out, that's not entering into much product. It's entering the wand. It's entering into a hole. So it makes it really hard to pick up wish there was a, this would be great if they could turn this into a little pot. Elf, are you listening? Make a little pot primer. You're duping everything else, make it like mattes. Oh, you do. Yeah, you do. You just did a crap job of it. That's right. I don't know, make this a better. Yeah, they do. They have their own version of it, which I have over there. It's just not very good. Just tapping that to set down, nothing else on this brush. So what do we have for eyes? I have all of the bite size shadows. I also have a couple of the larger palettes. I believe the Ocean Eyes, which is here, is the only one that is still available. They also have the Mad for Matte Nude Moods. Uh, this is 
a dupe for MAC. But I'm going in with a dupe for nothing. The Bite Size Eyeshadow uh, Quad in I Love You A Latte. This is a total matte shadow. Love it. Going into the lighter shade first and just brushing that all over the top part of the lid. Which for me is a lot. And setting that down. If you can hear a noise, my husband's making coffee. Well, he's making himself a coffee because he's already made mine and bought it in. Love him. He makes someone a good husband. Okay, going into the second lighter shade now. Tapping that off and running through the crease. These are great in. You can see that this is really pigmented. So the I Love Your Latte is a really gorgeous caramelly. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. I'm actually really hungry this morning. Working that back and forth. And buffing up and out. Don't forget, if you need to, to go back into one of my earlier videos, the Eyeshadow 101. Um, if you have issues with blending and you want to see it done very slowly and work out how to create tonal gradation and that blur from one shadow, it's worth it. So, now going in with... the darkest shadow and just tapping that on the outer corner we're not going in too dark today I say as I put a very dark brown on the outer corner and just really tucking that into the crease to darken it don't forget to look ahead in your mirror if you've got hooded eyes in particular so that you can see the shadow come up and out because if you can't see this when you're looking straight ahead and you're just doing this if you're going like this head leaning back going yep that's enough I can see that there's a bit of shadow there open your eyes she's gone mate so again up and out looking straight ahead And that is simple enough. Getting a flat packing brush now and going into that second darker shade, which is not very dark at all, and straight across our lids. Back with this brush for the darker shade just over the edge and then using a finger I've gone into the lighter shade and I'm just going back over that because I'm not real happy with that shade I want to lighten it up a bit these are oh look at that mess I'm gonna have to fix that these are quite quite silky quite pat, like powdery silky okay going in there see didn't mess it up at all tricked you just bringing back that darkness to the outer corner Okay, now going under the eyes now, bearing in mind I want to keep it pretty light, so I'm just, I'm going into that darkest, but I'm just stamping the first half, I'm not going in too hard. I have 
just used a nude, really natural nude eyeliner in my waterline. I didn't have an e.l.f. one. And just stamping that just on the outer corner where we've laid it and buffed it as well. Now going into that the shade next to it on a small buffer crease brush and using this to buff out underneath so it's softer. Now I've cleaned off this brush and I'm going into that lightest matte just to lighten up the inner corner. Now these are, oh, I want to say about $7 in Australia um, if you can find them at Kmart. Otherwise, um, Priceline or online. Now. We could leave it at that, but they also do these bite shy, bite sized, bite sized blush and highlighters. Now, I'm just going to show you this color. Oh, look at that! God, that looks good. We're going to set it down. I'm going in. This is the shade watermelon. Don't know what the second word is. Just going to tap that over. That'll give us a bit of longevity, but they match perfectly. Setting that down. And the highlighter. We've already used that powder highlighter, but we'll just do this. And I'm going to use that. Just tap that just to give it. It's not going to give it a huge amount of shimmer, but I'll just tap that over the lid, multi-purpose. What I'm going to do now is set down my face one last time. <sighs> set down my face one last time. Um, I do have the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. Um, I'll let you watch a couple of coats a couple of of that but you don't need to see me going uh, uh, uh. I'll be right back. Okay so I've set down my face I've just done a couple of coats on this eye you can see it's opened it up it's this is uh, I believe a dupe for the Benefit um, mascara I can't think of the name of it it'll have this is lash and roll I think it's a lash roller it may be called this is not super, super lengthening, super, super volumizing, but it's enough of both. It doesn't make your eyes look thick or clumpy, your eyes, your lashes. Um, it's just pretty. You can fan that out. Good wriggle in there. And that's something, don't be afraid to really wriggle and do it for a little bit and then bring out like a delayed pull out. It's pretty. I don't have a um, lipstick so bear with me what I'm going to do is I do have the glow reviver lip oil right here let's just try this on on its own it 
Now, it's a nice big fat dough for it. It has, it has a real chemical preservative smell to it. Curly a little bit pumping. Mm, not sure how I feel about that. We'll have to see. I am going to go and get dressed for work. I will probably chuck something on my lips and then this over the top of it. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back and finished. I have just put on, um, it's an old discontinued Bobby Brown um, crayon in brown berry. I have got this over the top of it, but I am really happy with how my face looks today at this point in time we have had it on for about an hour i don't know why i can only think that i went through a stage where i didn't want anything that felt heavy on my face because i'm really loving how this looks am i falling in love with it again we will check in at the end of the day to see how it's looking see how it's worn this I'm definitely going to be ordering more blush. So I'll check back with you later on in the day. Okay, so it is the end of the day. End of the day? Well, it's a uh, quarter to six at night. So I put my makeup on hmm, about ten and a half hours ago. Um, what I will say, it looks... At a cursory glance, it looks quite okay. But we'll zoom in a bit, and I'm hoping that this picks up. Um, I have got very noticeable glasses marks. I don't get that on all my products. This is a thicker product. I'm looking dry all around my chin area up underneath my nose i'm looking a bit crusty up here um bearing in mind i haven't done anything to refresh i haven't added a refreshing mist or anything and i don't when i do these and if i'm honest i actually don't at any stage throughout the day on a daily basis in any case i really like how the foundations worn. this blush is still worn really well me saying that I loved how the foundation looked when I used it and I did but looking at how it looks now has made me realize what it was so husband just walked in if you heard jelly bark I don't know if I'm going to have been able to cut that out but um yeah that is it this I really love the blush I really really love still happy with the eyeshadow foundation um, is probably too heavy for me I don't like how it is looked at the end of the day for a short time yes for a long time no no I actually don't mind the mascara either for a lighter mascara but that is about where we're at um, these 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 and I'm wondering if the cakiness is down to this because I don't generally wear that. My face was super hydrated this morning. Um, bite sized products, love. Cream blush, love, 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 love. Um, that is it, my friends. What are your thoughts on how it looks? I'm really disappointed in that. That's not something that I would like. That being said, once, yeah, no, once my glasses on, I just see the dryness a bit more. But at the end of the day, that is it. I'm going to go wash this off my face. Until next time, don't forget to tell your mum, tell your sister, tell your friends. Come along, subscribe. Come hang out. Don't forget, every day this month. And I will see you next time. Bye.